The Martinez Refining Company is prompting health concerns among city residents, specifically because of two recent events there. The first was the day after Thanksgiving when spent catalyst waste in the form of dust was released from that facility. The second issue was a flaring event that happened recently, December 9th. The city held a virtual town hall tonight so they could address both incidents. And Cron Force Amanda Harry joins us now live from the newsroom with more from this meeting. Good evening, Amanda. Good evening. Many people in Martinez say they're very upset with the Martinez Refining Company after these events. Now they're wondering how it may have affected their health and the future. This cannot happen again. Trust has been broken. This cannot happen again. This is not how a, a good neighbor behaves. Dozens of Martinez community members listened in to a town hall meeting about the recent events at the Martinez Refining Company, or MRC, and some voiced their concerns. I could stress one thing I would urge other members of the community uh, not to trust MRC anymore and they have only themselves to blame. City and county leaders announced that there would be a thorough investigation into the two events. The most recent event is a flaring event that happened on December 9th. But Contra Costa County Health says that one didn't have health impacts based on analysis of the air. The other event was on November 24th and 25th when spent catalyst was released into the air. Contra Costa Health has classified this event as a major chemical accident or release. What this means is that we now have regulatory authority to be able to pursue independent incident investigations of this release, as well as holding Martinez Refining Company to certain regulatory standards while they perform the investigations. County Health says there will be an oversight committee and the community will have involvement throughout. They want to understand both the health and environmental impacts. Representatives from MRC were also in the meeting. We sincerely apologize to our community and our neighbors for the spent catalyst incident that occurred on November uh, 24th. Because we were unaware that the spent catalyst had impacted the community, we did not initiate the community warning system or make other agency notifications. It took reports of a white powder for the health department to look into what happened after the fact. But it was too little too late for Martinez residents like Jonathan Wright, who has severe asthma and wouldn't go outside if he knew about the hazardous waste in the air. If I had known on Friday after Thanksgiving that my community had been I don't even know how to, how to say it. The refinery had spewed toxic waste into my community. I wouldn't have spent the day outside, but I did, and my health has suffered greatly since that incident. The county health department is still investigating, and they warn it's likely to be a slow process. In the meantime, MRC is working on communicating with the community in more ways, including a website that should be rolled out in early 2023. In the newsroom, Amanda Harry, Cronfor News.